Kapon, sa mga pagpapala, sa lahat po ng uh, benefits, Lord, na, at privilege na binigay niyo po sa amin, sa mga nakalipas na araw at mga araw pang susunod. Salamat, Ama. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Remember everything. So never forget the benefits. Amen. Remember. Hi, <laughs> hallelujah. Kami po ay nagpapaumanhin kung bakit kami ay late today because kami po ay galing sa labas. <laughs> Amen. Um, last week, good morning po sa lahat dyan sa Canada. Good morning. Good morning. This teacher car. Good day. I-test out kahit to, antok na yan. Alas 11 na sa Pilipinas. And good night, 11. Dubai na. Uh, and Philippines. Dubai yeah, is 7.37. Philippines, 11.37. Pinag-uusapan po namin kanina sa ano na ano. Since, ano naman pala, since na nagpalit na ng time. Pero parang mamay miss natin yung nasa Pilipinas eh. Kaya pareho na lang. Pareho na, 6.30 na ang 5.30 dito, di ba? 6.30. Ngayon sa inyo, 8 o'clock na. Sa Canada, 8.30 na, no? 8.30. Oo. Oo. So, kami dito ay 7.30. So, kung 5.30 kami, nasa 6.30 kayo. Oo. Tama. Pwede na namin i-adjust ng ano. Ano yan? Yung... Kitara na tumbo. Okay. So, uh, yes. Ang pre-prepare ko po ngayon, actually, last week, hindi natuloy yung ating meeting. I was supposed to discuss about God as Lord of all. Pero since uh, wala yung iba, hindi naman wala, pero meron pong binigay na na ibang topic ang Lord which I believe I very informative ito kasi naririnig natin. And this lessons that we have today is called the names of God. Ano po? So let me share this. Names of God. Names of God. Kasi ang pinag-aaralan po natin ngayon ay patungkol sa patungkol sa tawag dito attributes and character of God. But mapapansin po natin that marami tayong naririnig na Jehovah, may naririnig tayong El Shaddai, may naririnig tayong mga Adonai, naririnig natin na Yahweh. Di ba? So, these are terms na kung hindi natin ito naiintindihan, akala natin ay maraming Diyos. Kasi maraming nagkiklaim kami, Jehovah. Uh, di ba? Mayroon mga religious, mga religion na sinasabi sila yung Jehovah Witness. Sabi naman ng iba, kami yung Iglesia. Sabi naman ng iba, kami yung Adonai. Kami lang yung daan. So lahat po ito, kapag hindi na intindihan, ay magkakaroon ng division or uh, nagkakanya-kanyang what do you call this? Uh, congregation or mga denomination na divide siya. Actually, kung titingnan lang sa Bible, lahat po ito ay talagang si Lord. Pag sinabing Iglesia ni Cristo, Iglesia po means Ecclesia is Church of God. So, kung ikaw ay mananampalataya at tinanggap mo ang Panginoon bilang bilang tagapagligtas mo, ikaw po ay tinuturing na miyembro ng Ecclesia or ikaw mismo is a Church of God. Kasi Church means a dwelling. Church means dwelling. So if if the Holy Spirit dwells in you, you are a church yourself. 
Marami nga lang kasing temple. May temple of yung building. May church na congregation. At ikaw, ang tao rin ay church din. So, it's a dwelling place of God. is called church. Kaya, minsan sabi, ma-church kayo? Uh, pag hindi natin alam yun, they're talking about the building pupuntahan. Pero ang tunay na church na sinasabi ng Bible is ikaw, kasi ikaw yung dwelling place ng Holy Spirit. We are also church. Kaya nga yung temple, church din, kasi doon din natin parang may altar doon, may portal doon. So that's also a church, a dwelling place of God. Now, naririnig din natin ng iba, kami yung Jehovah Witness, kami talaga yung tama. Now, ngayon, pag-aaralan natin, these are just terminologies or translation ng iba-ibang uh, languages. It's in Hebrew, in Greek, in Latin. Pag pinag, ano-ano mo, akala mo, iba-ibang Diyos, pero it's actually a translation. So, we will start with this. There are seven or eight famous names of God that that uh, pertains to the character of God or siya rin itong tinatawag ng Bible, ang pangalan niya. Pag sinabi po kasing Jehovah or uh, Lord sa English, Jehovah sa sa Hebrew, sa Greek is Adonai. So, pare-pareho lang po ito. Ibig sabihin ay Lord. Pero nag-aaway-aaway. Jehovah. So, let's take a look at the terms or the address or how we call God in the Bible or how the Hebrew people called God in the Bible. Okay. So, look at this. Ang, ang Yahweh. Yahweh, dahil sa... Dahil po sa... Um, the Hebrew people, they take the name of God so holy na hindi nila ito pwedeng sabihin kasi di ba may, may, may meron tayong uh, law that you should, not, you should not take the name of the Lord in vain. Kaya hindi nila masabi-sabi po ang word na, na Yahweh. Kasi ang Yahweh po is the God or the name of God in Hebrew. Yahweh. Parang ang spelling pa nga is W. VH. Kaya para mabasa lang ng maayos, ginawa ng Yahweh. So this is the term, the Hebrew name of God, Yahweh or Yahweh. Pero hindi ito, pansinin po ninyo ang isinumang Hebrew or Jew. They cannot say this word. They are so fearful that they cannot even utter the name of God. Parang they are very afraid na mapuput nila in vain ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Kaya, ginawa ito ngayon Jehovah. In other translation, Jehovah. Jehovah means Yahweh or Lord. Ano po? So, yan. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya, maram tayong kinakanta. Yahweh, I know. Di ba kinakanta natin yung sa church before? You are near. Mga ganon. O yun. So, Yahweh is the Hebrew word for God and Lord or Master or Jehovah. Kaya pare-pareho lang yan, nag nagkakaroon lang ng confusion because of hindi nga alam, ignorance. So when we say it's Adonai, it's also called called Lord, Master. Lord, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng Lord? Ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin Owner. ng Lord? Owner, yes. It's it's actually owner, ang Lord. So, yung Jehovah is Lord, is owner. Yahweh, owner, master. Y yun lang yan ang translation. Let's take a look in Jeremiah 31, verse 3. Jeremiah 31, verse 3. Hallelujah. Jeremiah. So itong mga itong mga attributes na ito or mga tawag ng pangalan ng Panginoon ay taken from the scripture kung ano yung kanyang uh, ginawa o kanyang mga mga uh, attributes din. Bakit siya tinatawag na 
uh, Adonai is the Greek word for Lord. 31.3. Yun. Pakibasa nga po. The Lord appeared to us in the past, hmm. saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. Hmm. Yeah, so the Lord. So, kung mapapansin po ninyo, pag, pag ang Bible, uh, sina, pag pinalitan nyo yung term, the Lord with owner, so the owner appeared to us. Sabi sa Amplified, the Lord or the owner appeared to me, Israel, from ages past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting. So it is based on the scripture, pag sinabing Lord, sa yung may-ari. Kaya di ba may mga commandments sa Lord na, oh, wag kayo magpapatato. I am the Lord. Sabi sa Leviticus, you shall not cut or make tattoo on your body. I am the Lord. Ganyan na nakalagay sa ano, Leviticus 20 or 19. Meaning to say, meaning to say sabi ng may-ari, ayaw kong cut nyo ang body nyo, ayaw kong lagyan nyo kung anong marka, kasi ako ang may-ari. Ganun po ang mga, pag nabasa nyo po ang means sa Bible, there's, he is always uh, nilalagay niya sa hulihan ng I am the Lord. So Adonai is also Lord and Master. Pag sinabi ng Lord, Master, slave ka or bond servant ka ng isang master. Meron kang master, meron may ari sa'yo. Amen? So, Adonai. Now, Hebrew name for God is Yahweh or ito rin ay, gin, gin, ang pag, pag nakakita ko yun ng L, L means God. L. Okay, Hebrew, Hebrew for God is L. Kaya marami ko yung mal, 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 malirinig El Shaddai, Elohim, El Elwam, El uh, maraming El, ibig sabihin God, God na dinidescribe. Kaya nga po, meron din, kung maririnig nyo rin, the great I am. Pag sinabing great I am, huwag po kayo makukonfuse sa pangalan na I am, kasi pag sinabing great I am, or I am, ikaw na maglagay, kasi siya yan. Halimbawa, parang phrase lang siya, sabi ni Lord, I am. Sino ba si Lord sa'yo? Sino ba ang Diyos sa'yo? O kung si Lord sa'yo ay healer, so ilalagay mo, si Lord sabi niya, I am healer. Uh, si Lord ang provider. I am provider. Kaya, great I am. So, no, ano man ang ikabit mo dyan, siya yan. Kaya itong mga pangalan na to, the names that we are mentioning here, are taken from the Hebrew scriptures or term na ginagamit ng mga Uh, Jews or Hebrew. So, Elohim, if you remember, let's take a look in Genesis 1 verse 1, pero amplified nyo ano hin? Amplified. If you remember when we studied about uh, Holy Spirit, so El is God, Elohim is the plurality for God. Okay? Genesis 1 verse 1. <clears throat> In the beginning, God, Elohim, created by forming from nothing the heavens and the earth. So God is a single, singular. Pag sinabing Elohim, it is pertaining to the three of them or united in nature. Kaya sabi dito, kung sa, sa Amplified New Binasa to, describe pa even ang God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and Jesus. God the Son, the Elohim is the plurality. Silang tatlo yan. Kaya mapapansin, bakit may Elohim? ba? Diba? As one. One God, pero plural sila. So El is pertaining to one. Elohim is plural. Nang plurality for, no, or meaning the judge, the creator, or God. Are you still following po? I take note nyo po ito kasi nakakarinig tayo minsan sa, minsan sa prayer you can use this Lord you are the Elohim Lord you are Adonai Lord you are Jehovah when we speak these things now we understand what we're saying 
hindi lang siya, para lang po siyang taglish or tinagalog, ito naman ay hinibro or grinik lang when we are saying all these things. Kasi ginagamit natin ang terminology or translation sa ibang language. Pag may question po, ah, please interrupt mo lang. Yan, l l o m ang, ang ano dyan, l o how do you say this? l o l o m l o l o Ulam. Baka naman ulam ang tingin nyo dito. L-O-Lam. <laughs> Pagkain ano. L-O-Lam. Isaiah 40. Tinuha ito sa Isaiah 40 verse 28. L-O-Lam. L-O-Lam is pertaining to the everlasting God. It's a description of His character. L, the God who is everlasting, the God of eternity, the God of the universe, the God of ancient days, all ages. El Olam, El Wam. So Isaiah 40:28. Paya mag-exam tayo. <laughs> Isaiah 40. Sino po ang pwede magbasa? Twenty-eight. Pag chinect nyo to sa Hebrew, ang ibig sabihin po niya ay everlasting God or L L O M. L L O M L L O L L O L O M L L O L O M L O M L L O M Ang hirap na sa'yo. <laughs> Sige po, who wants to read uh, 28, verse 28? 4028. Okay. Do, uh, do you not know? Yes. Have you not heard? Mm -hmm. The Lord is the everlasting God, mm -hmm. the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Wow. See? The everlasting God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord. So, El Elohim pertains to being the everlasting God. His character. Siya yung Diyos na walang katapusan, eternity, the creator of the ends of the earth. Hindi daw siya napapagod, hindi siya nag-grow weary, walang nakaka unfathomable ang kanyang understanding. So, L L1 pertains to uh, the everlasting God. Okay, what is the Greek word for Lord? Kurios hmm. o Hebrew. Hmm. Yahweh. Another? Adonai. Adonai. Okay, Adonai. Adonai, Lord. So, what do you mean by Jehovah? It's also Lord. Lord. <laughs> It's also Lord, pero sa Hebrew. Okay, Jehovah, the Lord. Okay? So, yun na lang siya. Greek, Hebrew, kasi yun ang, yun ang mga original manuscript written on that uh, language. Kaya bumabalik doon, tinitrace ano ba ang meaning or Latin or mga Aramaic. Actually, Aramaic ang unang language. Tapos, naging Hebrew. Pagdating ni Alexander the Great, pinatranslate niya sa Greek ang Bible. Kaya, Maraming translation. Buti na lang translate din sa Tagalog, sa Bicol, sa Bisaya. Kasi paano kung Aramaic lang ang Bible ngayon, paano natin maiintindihan? Ano po? Kaya ma ma mabuti ang Diyos, inano niya na maintindihan natin sa kanya-kanyang languages. So, sa Bisaya, ano ang ano? Ano ang Lord? Bisaya. Lord yan? Ginoo. Ang Panginoon, Tagalog, di ba? Sa Bicol, ano ang ano kang Diyos?
Mares. Ano ang Diyos sa Bicol? Di ba Diyos din? Oh, igwa pa. Kagurangnan. Di ba? Kagurangnan. Yeah, tama. tama. Yeah, kagurangnan. Si, si RJ, taga saan si RJ? Cebu. Cebu. O di, ginoo din. Si Gemma, taga saan? Uh, mas... Uh... Katanduan na siya, tao mas bate. No, no, no. Mas bate. Mas bate. Mas bate. Mas bate. Kagurangnan, di ba? Ang ano natin, Oo. ang Bicol. Kagurangnan. Yeah. Kagurangnan. Mas bate rin. Yeah. Oh. Bisaya. Pareho lang yan, garam lang yan, Hebrew, Jehovah, o kaya Adonai, or Kurios. Sa Pangasinan, Obs, ano ang ano? Ang Lord. Ang um, katawan. Really? Hmm. Oh! Like katawan? Yeah, like katawan. Lord? God. See? Sa Tagalog. Iba-iba. Panginoon. Panginoon. O, diba? Panginoon sa Bicol, kagurangnan. Oh. So, it's just a translation of dialect, mo. pero it's pertaining to God. Diba? Kaya ito rin po yung ginagamit nila dito. Pinag-aaralan lang natin yung Hebrew word, yung Greek word, pero pertaining to God at ano yung kanya? Bakit siya tinawag na gano'n? So mamaya, makikita natin yung mga kwento bakit saan, saan galing yung saan derive yung kanyang quality or character na yun. So ano yung LLOM? The Everlasting God. The Everlasting God. Okay. I what do you mean by Elohim? The plurality of God. God or judge. Judge. Creator. Eh, isa lang ang estudyante. Anong meaning ng L? Lord. L? The. L? God. God. Hebrew, Hebrew name for God. Hebrew name for God, they use it as L. Although it's the God or whatever. Pero, yeah. as a Hebrew, Hebrew siya for God. Single, singular. Okay. So, another one is El Shaddai. Ito. Nagkakaroon ng misinterpretation dito. Uy, El Shaddai siya. Di ba, ano pag sinabi mo, El Shaddai siya, ang, alam niyo po ba, ang ibig sabihin ng El Shaddai is Lord God Almighty. Kaya pag, pag nakakita ka ng ta na Pilipino, El Shaddai ka? O ano sinasabi mo? Lord God Almighty ka? Parang ganon. Kung hindi nyo ito naiintindahan, we are using it in a wrong way. El Shaddai is talking for the God for El Shaddai Almighty. Pag sinabing almighty, alam yung lahat ng might, lahat ng power, all, nandoon na sa kanya lahat. Diba? Jehovah siya. El Shaddai siya. Nag-away-away na tuloy, samantala ang ibig sabihin lang naman yan ay Greek term or, or Hebrew, Hebrew word. Okay? So El Shaddai means Lord God Almighty. Hindi po siya another denomination. Okay? El Shaddai. Let's take a look in Genesis 17.1. Genesis 17. When Abram was 99 years old, mm. the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. Ngayon niyo po, oh. Si Abraham, kung tutuusin natin to, 99 years old si Abraham, nag-appear si Lord to him and said, I am God Almighty. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng God? Pag sinabi pong Almighty, might, all might, and power, all, nasa kanya lahat ang might, nasa kanya lahat ang power. Ang Lord na sinasamba natin ay siya ang may-ari ng lahat ng power and might. The Lord God Almighty or the El Shaddai. Lord God Almighty. Sabi ni, 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 ni Lord sa ikakan kay Abraham, I am God Almighty. Walk before me with integrity, knowing that you are always in my presence and be blameless and complete in obedience to me. So El Shaddai means Lord God Almighty. Amen? Ano pong ibig sabihin ng Elohim? Tagal pa rin sumagot ah. 
God. Plurality for God. Plurality for God. Hindi natin muna aanhin yung ano, kasi puro naman to siya eh. Pero sa Hebrew, when we talk about the plural God or the Trinity, they are the Elohim. Single God is L. 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 Okay. And then what about Adonai? Lord. Lord and Master. Lord and Master. And Jehovah or Yahweh. Lord. God. Okay. Holy Lord name. Also, but it Hebrew. is Hebrew for God. Na hindi nila masabi-sabi. Kaya pinalitan na lang nila ng Jehovah para safe sila doon sa Yahweh. Tayo lang nakakabanggit ng Yahweh. Pero ang mga, ang mga uh, Israelita o ang mga Jews, hindi nila yan masambit-sambit hanggang ngayon. Takot na takot sila na they're saying in vain, the name of God in vain. So El Shaddai is the Lord God Almighty. Yun. Now, El Elyon. Ano ibig sabihin ng El Elyon? El Elyon. The Most High God. The Most High. Pinaka. Psalms 47, verse 2. El Shaddai, El Elai. Di ba may kanyon? Adonai. Di ba? Puro lang naman yan. Hebrew Greek na sinasabi eh. Just we're trying to understand it. Psalms 47. Sige verse 2. The Lord God, the Lord God most high is astonishing, awesome beyond words. He's the formidable and powerful king over all the earth. Yeah. So, pag tinignan niyo po to si Hebrew Bible, ang nakalagay dyan is El Elyon or the most, the Lord most high, the most high God. El Elyon. What is El Shaddai? God Almighty. The Lord God Almighty. El Elyon. The Most the High most God. High. Elohim. The plurality of God. El Singular. Singular. <laughs> okay. Lord. Yahweh. Lord. Hebrew. Hebrew for God. Yes. So mga katabi ko rito ang sumasagot lang ha. Ano ko lang. <laughs> okay, El Elyon. What's El Elyon? Ever, the, most high the everlasting God. El Shadayon. El Elyon. The El most high God. Yeah. The, most the high everlasting God. God. The most high God. The most high God. Ang El Shaday. God Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. Yung El Olam, El Olam, the everlasting God. The everlasting God. Psalms 40. Ooh. Ay, Isaiah. Ano lang naman to, ikot-ikot, pero inaaral lang natin para may knowledge lang tayo. Okay. Alam niyo po ba, ang pangalan lang din ng Lord ay Jealous. Ang sabi sa Hebrew niyan is Kana. 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 Exodus 34.14. Exodus 34.14 Alam niyo po ba ang pagsinabi kasing jealous is you are the sole owner and you're protecting your you are protecting your uh, attributes or your character. Ayaw mo itong ibigay sa kung kanino. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya He is a jealous God or Kana Kana okay. Exodus 34.14 Kana do not worship any other God for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a Jealous God. Hmm. Ito, ito po kailangan maintindihan. Ang pwede lang tawagin Jealous or ang pwede lang mag-Jealous ay yung may-ari. Kapag owner ka, pwede kang mag-Jealous by the virtue of your ownership. Kaya pa mga mag-asawa o mag-boyfriend, girlfriend, hindi ka pwede actually mag-jealous kung tutuusin. Hindi ka pwede mag-sell kasi hindi mo naman pag-aari ang asawa mo. Hindi mo pag-aari ang, ang partner mo. Kaya nga, sabi niya, then his name is jealous. Kasi siya lang talaga ang pwedeng mag-jealous kasi siya lang ang may-ari. 
His ano daw pangalan doon? His name is jealous God. He's a jealous God. Kasi nga when we are giving our worship to idols, we are blaspheming his glory. We are giving his glory. Galit sa doon kaya siya nagsiselos kasi he is a jealous God because I created you and you're worshiping other idols. I am your creator, creator, and then you are saying thank you to the images. Diba? Kaya sabi niya, I am a jealous God. I will not give my glory to anyone. But when we give our, but when we worship or we give our loyalty to anyone, we are giving away his glory. Kaya galit siya. Kaya jealous God siya. Amen? Amen. What's El Elyon? El Shaddai? El El Elohim? Yeah. Everlasting God. Okay, let's move. Ano pa? Kana. Now, let's take a look at this seven, or I think this is eight. Jehovah, napapansin nyo, may Jehovah Jireh, may Jehovah Rapha, may Jehovah Shalom, may Jehovah Nisi, may Jehovah Makadesh, may Jehovah, uh, ano pa ito? Shidkinu. 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 And then, these are like uh, Jehovah Sabuat. Uh, walo ito. Sige. So, di ba, ang Psalms 23, tawag natin is, the Lord is my shepherd, right? Shepherd means Jeho, Jehovah Ra'a. Rawa. Rawa. Ito daw ang ano, Jehovah Rawa. May, may ano dito, pronunciation eh. How do you pronounce that? Jehovah. Rawa. 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 So, Jehovah means Lord in Hebrew. So, when you say the Lord is my shepherd, you're, you're proclaiming He is my Jehovah, Jehovah Rawa. Yun lang naman yun, the Lord is my shepherd, or in translation, Jehovah Rawa. Okay, Psalms 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So, pag sinabing the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd, in, in Hebrew, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang term? Jehovah Ra. Ra. Rawa. Yeah, Rawa. 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 Jehovah Rawa. Ra. Parang yun, Rawa. So, one. Shepherd, number one. Ito ay, I think, seven or eight. Jehovah Rawa is shepherd. Number two is Jehovah Jireh. Jireh. Uh, Jireh. Saan ito kinuha? Mapap, mapap, mababasa niyo po ito sa Genesis 22 during the time na ino-offer ni Abraham si Isaac. Sa kwento yon na hinihingi ng Lord, okay, patayin mo si Isaac, i-offer mo sa akin. Pero nung uh, papunta na si na, okay, let's take a look. Genesis 22 verse 8 po. Anong ibig sabihin ng gyre? Gyra. Abraham said, provide. God will provide for himself a lamb for the burnt offering so that two walked on together. Okay. So ang ibig sabihin lang naman po ng Jehovah Jireh is the Lord provider. The Lord who will provide. Kaya sinasabi dito, Abraham said, my son, God will provide for himself a lamb. So Jehovah Jireh means the Lord will provide. Or if if the Lord is my provider, he is my Jehovah Jireh. You say it, you are my Jehovah Jireh. You are proclaiming, you are my provider. Okay, Jehovah Jireh means my provider. You supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. So Jehovah Jireh is ano po? Provider. provider. What is Jehovah Ra? My shepherd. My shepherd. The Lord my shepherd. Lord my shepherd. Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. El Elyon. The most high God. El Shaddai. Lord God Almighty. Amen. El Elwam. The everlasting God. 
Amen. Praise God. So we already have Jehovah Ra, Jehovah Jireh, and then the next one is Jehovah Rapha. Ito Rapha is a healer. The Lord that heals. Rapha. Okay, Jeremiah 30, 17. It's taken from that. Rafa, Ralph, Rafa, Rafa. Pag inano mo naman to na binasa mo ng Bicol, parang Rafa. <laughs> Rafa. Silent W, Rafa. Rawa, Ra. So Jehovah, Jehovah Rafa means the Lord that heals. Jeremiah 30, verse 17 po. Sinusulat niyo po ba? Para hindi niyo makalimutan to. Jeremiah 30 verse 17. Ito po ang katangian ng Lord. Anyone po? But I will rest. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because mm -hmm. you are called an outcast, an outcast Zion for whom no one cares. Amen. So when we talk about God as healer or physician, or who restores health, who gives health to the body, who heals. His name is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Jehovah Rapha. Okay, Rapha. And then tapu yan. Anong Jehovah Ra'a? The Lord that heals. Ra'a. <laughs> Ito, Rapha. Ano yung Rapha? Oh, Ra'a. The Lord, the Lord my shepherd. Shepherd. Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. Provider. Kiba, Jehovah Jireh. My provider. Yan, yan. Ano yan? Yung kantang Jehovah Jireh. Doon yan, ano. Ang Jehovah Jireh means the Lord that provides. So now, yung nagagamot, Diyos na nagagamot, ang tawag naman yan sa Hebrew is Jehovah Rapha. Siya, hindi, siya pa, hindi siya another God, kundi isa yan sa attributes niya, isa yan sa kanyang mga ginagawa. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya rin, Jehovah Rapha. Pertaining to the same God, maraming qualities. Okay? Jehovah Rapha. Another one. Pero ilan na yon? Three na, no? Jehovah Ra, my shepherd. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Puro pa siya. Uh, Ra, Rapha, Jireh. And then the next one is ito. Shidkenu. 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 Or the Lord our righteousness. Pag shid ke no, parang in check siya, shid ke, shid. <laughs> Jeremiah 23, verse 6. Jeremiah 23, verse 6. The Lord, our righteousness, means shid ke no. Jehovah shid ke no. Sige po, ako magbabasa. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell safely. Now, this is his name by which he will be called the Lord our righteousness. Ano nga po bang ibig sabihin ng righteousness? The Lord our righteousness. Di ba ang righteousness ay moral ano uh, tawag dito we are justified with god uh, in, the lord our righteousness yung yung kanyang uh tagalog ng moral because righteousness means justified i mean right standing right standing with god Ibig sabihin, absuelto ka sa Diyos, pero yung righteousness mong yun, galing kasi sa Kanya, wala tayong righteousness, ibinigay lang through Jesus. Kaya ang tawag sa Kanya, Jehovah Shed Kenu, 
Shidkenu or the Lord our righteousness. Kasi ibinigay niya yung righteousness sa atin para ma-absuelto tayo sa God the Father. Ibinigay ni Jesus yung kanyang righteousness. Naiintindihan pa po? Shidkenu. Upright. Morally upright. Walang bahid. Justified. Walang mali. Kaya nga pag sinabing we are the righteousness of God, wala kang makikitang mali sa atin sa spiritual. Sa physical, marami. Maraming mga bahid. Pero spiritually, ang tingin sa atin ng Diyos ay righteous or upright. Walang bahid na mali because ang righteousness na dinadala natin ay righteousness ni Jesus. The Lord, our righteousness. So He is our Jehovah Shedkenu. Okay. What is Jehovah Jireh? Mhm. Ayos sa doon sa kwarto yun ng sumagot. Jehovah Rapha. The Lord that heals. Healer, yes. The Lord Ra'a. The Lord my shepherd. The shepherd, the Lord is my shepherd Ra'a. The Lord our righteousness. Jehovah Chedik. Chedkeno. Parang in Chedkeno. Oh, oh, the Lord, our righteousness. Ilan na yun? Jehovah Jireh, provider. Jehovah Ra'a, uh, shepherd. Jehovah Rapha, healer. Jehovah Shidkenu, righteousness. Apat na. Apat na. Isa, ano pa? Apat pa. Tapos na tayo. Then we have Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Shama means the Lord is there. The Lord is there, always there. Nandiyan ang Diyos. Okay, the Lord is there. Ezekiel 48:35. Ezekiel 48 Shama. Shama ka? <laughs> <laughs> I'll read it, teacher. Core. At the distance all around will be 18,000 cubits, and the name of the city from the time on will be the Lord is there. Mm. So when we, when we say the Lord is there, it, He is dwelling there because He is the Jehovah Shama. The Lord is there. His presence is there. Jehovah Shama. Okay. So Jehovah Shama means God's presence or the Lord is there. He's present. The Lord is there. Shama is the Lord is there. So who can recite now the five? Okay, it's me. Okay, then. Number one, Jehovah Ra, Ra, <laughs> the Lord my shepherd. Yes. Number two, Jehovah Jireh, Jireh. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Lord okay. will provide. The Lord provides, yes. Number three, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Amen. Number four, Jehovah Shedkeno. Shedkeno. The, yes. lo the Lord righteousness. Our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. Number five. Jehovah Shama. Shama. The Lord is there. The Lord presence. Is. The Lord is present. Kaya pag nagpipray tayo sa ano sa awakened dawn when we are, you know, like we are praying Amen. for people who are sick. Then you call Lord, you are our Jehovah Rapha, our healer. You can use that one. You are the one who gives health. You are the one who restores health because you are Jehovah Rapha, our Jehovah, our great physician. Ginon ng ano ilang naman ang ibig sabihin ng healer Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Ra'a, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shedkenu. Lima na, tatlo na lang. The next one is, ito, medyo mahirap basahin sa Hebrew, pero ang, ang ibig sabihin lang naman yan ay Makadash. 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 Yun. Ang hirap ng spelling niya, pero ang pronunciation niyan is Jehovah Makadesh. Makadesh ang iba niya. Eh. Jehovah Makadesh is the one who sanctifies you. Pag sinabi pong sanctifies, inaano ka, nililinis ka. The Lord, the Lord who makes holy. Inaano, tinatanggal yung pinuprun ka, tinatanggalan ka ng mga 
uh, mga mali, mga buko-buko ng iyong buhay. He is the one who sanctifies. Para siyang tubig, nililinis tayo. He is Jehovah Makadesh. The Lord who sanctifies. Let's take a look in Leviticus 20. Leviticus 20. 7 and 8. So consecrating, sanctifying, setting you apart. He is the Jehovah Makadesh. Sa 8 daw. 7 and 8 po. Sige. Seven and eight. Leviticus twenty. Makadesh. Mekodeshin. Parang ganun ang spelling niya. Mekodeshin. Mekodeshin. Pero it's Mak Makadesh. 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 Sige, Mirs. Uh, consecrate yourselves and be holy because because I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Keep my decrees and follow them. I am the Lord who makes you holy. Yeah, or sanctifies you. So pag sinabing sanctify, He is consecrating you, He is making you holy, inaano ka niya, uh, set apart, parang minumold ka para sa Kanya. So ang naglilinis talaga sa atin, hindi naman kung sinong tao, Siya pa rin yun. He is the Lord who sanctifies Kaya nga yung word niya, di ba? Your word is like a water. Pag sinabing, kaya the more na nagbabasa tayo, the more na nagpo-proclaim tayo ng word of God, nasa sanctify tayo. Nasa set apart tayo. Kasi yung mind natin nababago. Nasa sanctify ka. Nas, na, nasa separate ka. Na, na consecrate ka. Consecrated for God. So, ang gumagawa ng consecration, ang gumagawa ng sanctification is Jehovah Makadesh. Yun ang kanyang term na ginagamit. Pag sinasanctify ka, ang nagsasanctify siya, the Lord God who sanctifies you or cleanse you. Kine-cleanse ka ng Panginoon. Parang hinubuhusan ka ng tubig, hinuhugasan tayo. Sanctifies. Okay. And anim na. Ano yung anim? Anin. Sige, Obs. Birthday mo, sige. You have a rough path. Walang, walang ano, walang basahan. <laughs> the way you, ano lang, memorize. Sige. Go, Obs! <laughs> Kinaman. Jehovah Ra'a, the mm -hmm. Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Jaira, the Lord is my provider. Mm -hmm. Je Jehovah Rafa, the Lord is my healer. Yes. Jehovah Shidkino, the Lord my righteousness. Yes. The, uh, Jehovah Makadesh, the Lord who sanctifies. Mm -hmm. One more. One more. Mm -hmm. Ah! Jehovah Shama. Shama. The Lord is there. The Lord is there. Lagi kang kashama. <laughs> <laughs> so, anim na, dalawa na lang. Okay. So, Makadesh is the one who sanctifies. Next is Shalom. Ito, lagi tong Lagi naman itong sinasabi, di ba? Pag sinabi shalom means peace. Oh, pero hindi lang isa ang, yun, sige nga, oh, ano, marami daw meaning si Lace. 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 Share, ah. share ka. Okay. Okay, the meaning of shalom, or you can find it at Judges 6.24, ang meaning ng shalom marami, Hebrew word for peace, for harmony, for wholeness, for completeness, for prosperity, welfare, and tranquility, and so on, and so many. Kaya pag sinabing shalom, so I'm, I'm releasing uh, prosperity, I'm releasing wholeness, I'm releasing tranquility, I'm releasing peace. Pero la lagi lang nagagamit peace, sa shalom is peace, pero maraming meaning ang shalom. Ang, pin ang pinaka, pinaka dominant lang na ano niya is peace, peace okay? Shalom. Okay, shalom. Now, it's uh, written in, marami siyang, marami kang mapikitang peace, pero Judge 6.24 lang, anayin natin. Judges 
Yan, si Gideon. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and named it, The Lord is Peace. To this day, it is still in opera of the Abai's rites. Okay, the Lord is Peace. The Lord or Jehovah Shalom. Okay, Anim, who can recite the six? Six, Jehovah. Bet. Nag-task ka daw ng kamay? Okay, wala. Hindi, hindi nasagot. Sino ang gusto? Si RJ or si Gemma? Sige, Gem. Anim. Anim? Okay. Um, number one, Jehovah Ra. Ra? Ah, yeah. Ra, Ra, the Lord, my shepherd. Yes. Number two, the Jehovah Jireh, That's the Lord will provide. Provider, yeah. Number three, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Yes. Number four, Jehovah Shed Keno, yes. the Lord, our righteousness. Right. Number five, Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there, yes. is a uh, presence. Yes. Uh, Jehovah Mekodesh Kem or yeah. Mekodesh, uh, the Lord who sanctifies Sanctify. you, seven. the Lord who makes holy, Jehovah Shalom, yes. the Lord is peace. Amen. The last one Amen. is Tabu. Ah, meron pa pala, hindi lang pala ano, Nisi. The Lord is my banner. Ito'y po yung kwento naman ni Moses na nakikipaglaban ang mga Israelita. Ngayon, nangangalay na si Moses. Pag ibinababa niya yung pangalan, yung, yung staff, natatalo ang mga Israelita. Pag tinataas niya, nap nananalo ang mga Israelita. So, tinulungan siya ni Hur sa kani ni Aaron para alalayan yung kanyang shoulder para maitaas yung staff ni, ni Moses. Doon nanalo ang mga ang mga Israelita. Kaya tinawag yun, the Lord, my banner, or Jehovah Nisi. Okay, Exodus 17, verse 15. Um, Exodus 17, 15. Yes. Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. Amen. Pag, pag banner, yun yung ating iminawagay. Why? Yan yung ating very proud tayo. The, the Lord is my victory or Nisi. The Lord my banner. The Lord of miracle. So, Jehovah Nisi. So, ito madali din itong maalala kasi parang Chinese, ano lang to, ano ba noodles? Nisin. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> Uy, grabe. Dahil yeah, madali lang yung sound ba? Yung sound para madaling maalala. Jehovah Nisi. Or our victory, our banner, our miracle. Nisi. Ano na? Ito na, no? Ito or awalo? So, siyam pala lahat. Siyam. Okay, who can recite? RJ, sige po. Um... So the Lord, uh, Jehovah Nisi, um, the Lord, my banner. Jehovah Ra'a, the Lord, my shepherd. Yes. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there. Yes. Jehovah Tzidkenu, the Lord of righteousness. That's right. Jehovah Mekodishkim, the Lord who sanctifies. Yes. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Sino pa? Jaira? Jehovah Jaira, the Lord will provide. Amen. Walo. And the last one is yeah, Jehovah Sabawot. Sabawot. Or the Lord of host. Sabawot. Sabi ni Jin noon, host, parang nag-host ng party. <laughs> the Lord of host. Or the Lord of powers. Pag sinabing Lord of Host, pag sinabi pong host, ang pinag-uusapan nyo yung heavenly host, yung anghel, yung mga armies of heaven. Ang tawag po doon host, heavenly host. 
So pag siyang sinabi siya ang may-ari, the Lord of hosts, siya ang may-ari ng mga heavenly powers, angels, seraphim, cherubims, siya ang Lord niyan, siya ang owner niyan. So he is the Lord of hosts. Let's take a look in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 3. So siya po siya lahat. post mo ngayon ano yung and then that yung ay hello dito na kanya po so kaya tawag din po siyang the lord of the heavenly armies or the lord of host lord of host na may kanta kanya lord of host so, ano po ang Lord of Hosts? Siya ay Lord ng Heavenly Host or ng Heavenly Powers or ng Heavenly Armies. Siya. Heaven's Armies. Okay, so Sham na. Sham. O sige, Mers. Sham. <laughs> Sabot. Sabot. Jehovah Sabot. Teach, uh, so, ano, Jehovah Nisi? Yes. Jehovah Shalom? Oh, it's Nisi. Ah, Shilo, Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner. Banner, the Lord, victory, banner. yeah. One. Uh, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Yes. Jehovah Mekudesh. Mekudesh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the Lord who sanctifies Lord you, you know, I'll make you holy. And Jehovah Shama, mm -hmm. the Lord is there. That's presence, okay. Jehovah Shid Kenu, the Lord, our righteousness. Okay. Jehovah Rapha is the Lord that heals. Yes. Jehovah Jaira, the Lord will provide. Mm -hmm. And Jehovah Ra. The Lord, my shepherd. Mm -hmm. Shalom. Jehovah Sabaoth. Yeah, ikasyam to. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Yes, and then Jehovah Sabaoth. 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 Again. Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts or the Lord of power. The Lord of power or the Lord of hosts. So, siyam sa lahat, siyam. I'm gonna teach you a song using this, ano, Baka na-encounter nyo na ito. Okay, sinend na daw po ni OBS doon sa chat group. Okay. Hello, be the name. Yan. Nakita niyo po sa chat group. Kantay natin to. Yeah, we bugot. Ano, OBS? Meron pa siya. Okay, so pinaka... Okay. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Jehovah God, you reign. Jehovah God, you reign. And you will never change. Oh, Lord. Wherever you're the same. Jehovah Jireh. Ano nga? Yes, Lord. Ano Jehovah Jireh? The Lord is promised. Right. The Lord will provide. Jehovah Jireh. You supply my every need. What's Jehovah Rapha? The Lord that heals. Perfect help you give to me. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Oh God, you reign. Oh God, you reign. Oh, 
Kadang pun itu kok itu ya lirik. Asyik jam dalam. Saya tak ya. Shalom. 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 Mana Shalom? Peace. The Lord is. You're the one who gives me peace. Rohi din pala ang ra ah Rohi. Ro ra ah nakalagay don pero Rohi. Jehovah Rohi. This is. My shepherd. My faithful shepherd leading me. Chorus. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Jehovah God, you reign. Jehovah God, you reign. And you will never change. Oh, Lord. Makadesh. Makadesh. The one who sanctifies. You're the one who makes me clean. Shit, can you? Our righteousness. Jehovah, shit, can you? Imparting righteousness to me. The Lord, my banner. My banner. Lord, you reign in victory. Yoga Shama. Lord is there. Yoga Shama. You are always there for me. Hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name, Jehovah God you reign, Jehovah God you reign, and you will never change, oh Lord, forever your name. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. Lord that heals. Rapa. The Lord that heals. Lord that heals. The heal, the healer. Jehovah Rapa. Perfect health you give to me. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Jehovah God you over God you reign and you will never change oh Lord forever you're the same Shalom God of peace Lord of peace over Shalom you're the one who gives me peace Jehovah Ra or Rohi The Lord, my shepherd. <laughs> Narinig ko yung pagbuklat, ah. <laughs> my faithful shepherd leading me. Jehovah Makadesh. Jehovah Makadesh. The Lord who sanctifies. Jehovah <laughs> Makadesh. 
makes me clean. Yo, Shama. And, and Lord, Lord, Lord is there. Huh? The Lord is there. Is there. The Lord is there. Oh, Shama. Oh, Shama. The Lord, <laughs> <laughs> the Lord, the Lord, my banner, the Lord, my miracle. Your machine can no righteousness. Imparting righteousness for me. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Jehovah God, you reign. Jehovah God, you reign. He will never change. Oh Lord, forever your name. You will never change. Oh Lord, forever you're the same. Pass again, Sham. Nine Jehovah's. Ako ba yun? Ikaw yun, gising. Ako tungka na nga ni talaga ako. Balo ng torong. Jehovah Ruhi, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. Jehovah Rao, the Lord is... Ra'a or Rohi, no, sorry. Ra'a or Rohi, same. Jehovah yes. Jireh, the Lord will provide. Jireh, provide. The Lord, the, Lord, the Lord that heals. The um, Jehovah Chidkino, the Lord, our righteousness. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there. Yes. Jehovah Makadesh, the Lord who sanctifies. Yes. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Yes. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner. Victor. And yes. Jehovah Shalom. I the Jehovah Sha Anbayu? Shaba Shabawat. Uh -huh. The Lord of Host. The Lord who? of Host. The Lord of Hosts. The Lord of Hosts. Yeah, and Sham. So, RJ. Busy na si RJ. Oh, Mayor, si ikaw muna. Wala pa si RJ. Paano po nag-combine si Sha? Sha lo mo. Hello? But Jehovah Sabaoth. Yes, Lord of Hosts. Yeah, Lord of Hosts. And, uh, <laughs> Jehovah Nizi, the Lord my banner. Yes. Too. And my miracle. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Yes. Jehovah Mekodesh. The mm. Lord who sanctifies, yes, or the Lord that makes you holy, yeah. Um, Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there, yes. Uh, Jehovah Shednek Shedkenu, the Lord our righteousness, righteousness. Um, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. Mm -hmm. and Jehovah Ra, the Lord my shepherd. Tatlo lang mirrors na yung, yung kabisado mo na, na memorize mo. Tatlo. Yung hindi mo babasahin yung nag, nag Jehovah, Jehovah, Ra, uh, Jehovah Rapa. Ano the yun? Lord of Yes. Uh, Jehovah. Shalom. <laughs> Jehovah. Peace. Peace. And Jehovah. Yung naalala mo talaga. Ha? Easy. Jehovah Nisi. Victory, yeah. Yeah. 
O Jem, tatlo na, na nagmarka sa'yo. Tatlo lang doon sa Siam. Jai, the Lord is my, uh, the Lord will provide. Yes, Zaira. Uh, uh, Rafa, the, the Lord, Lord will, will that heals. Yes. Apos, the Lord, uh, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Oh, yan tatlong yan. Memorize mo yan kahit hindi mo, yung nagmarka lang sa'yo kahit hindi mo ano. Basahin, okay. Ano? So yung uh -oh. Jaira, Jeho Rafa, Jaira, Rafa, Rafa, ano pa yan? Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. Ah, sige, Obs, ikaw, Shalom. Tapos <laughs> <laughs> nagihilig ko. <laughs> Di ba nagstop mo lang? Shalom nagihilig ko. <laughs> Jehovah Rocky, my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord is my provider. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord is my healer. Jehovah Makadesh, the Lord who sanctifies. Jehovah Shikinu, the Lord is my righteousness. Jehovah Shabbat. Sabbat. 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 The Lord of hosts. The Lord, uh, Jehovah Nisi, mm -hmm. the Lord is my banner or my victory. Last. Makadesh. <laughs> 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 the Lord is sanctified. <laughs> Ayan, praise God. So, at least may natutunan po tayo yung siyem na Jehovah, the Lord, or kanyang qualities, kanyang... Uh, ginag naginawa sa Bible, recorded in the Bible. That's why binigay sa kanya yung mga pangalan. Marami pa, pero yun ang nine na pinaka-dominant. Uh, And then, again, yung Jehovah, yung Yahweh, yung Adonai, yung uh, El, El Elyon, El, ano pa ba yun? El Shaddai, El Elwam. These, these are just... Uh, Hebrew names and Greek names. Amen. So, so thank you. Uh, I hope that you learned something today. Pwede nating magamit pag nagpipray tayo that we have understanding with what we're saying. Okay po, let's pray. Thank you po. Hello. Hindi na magpipray. Kina po, maiksi lang para makaalis na kayo. Hello, be thy name. Hello, be thy name. Oh, God, you reign. Oh, God, you reign. Prepare muna kami. Okay po. Sige, Lord, salamat po. Thank you for the time. Gemma, Mears, and RJ, and the rest na nandito ngayong gabi na nagbigay ng panahon ama. Salamat po. Iligay niyo po ito sa aming mga puso at isipan ng pinag-aralan namin ngayon. Salamat po aming ama, aming Diyos, our Lord, our Master, our Creator, and our God. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye po. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.